Hey there lads and lassies, I hope you guys are doing brilliantly today. It's Dave here and welcome back to the next episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. I'm kind of hyped, fin finally another trial, but um, also it's kind of a bit sad at the moment. I really like Sakura, I really like Sakura Ogami. So uh, to find out she was the spy was a little bit gutting, it was a bit disappointing, but... Um, but it sounds as if she definitely didn't want to betray her friends, but obviously someone didn't take her word for it and has murdered her apparently. So we're about to begin, as I said, the class trial to find out who did it, who killed Sakura. Um, so just to briefly recap the last episode, and um, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I think for certain it's going to be the longest series to date on my channel so far. Started off with Kyoko and Makoto being her, her summoned by Aoi because she'd found something bad in the rec room. And we found out that she'd walked past the rec room, just briefly had a look in through the doorway window and seen that Sakura was sitting in a chair, appeared to be unconscious, but the door was not locked because it didn't have a lock but it was being propped shut by something and they couldn't get in and sakura wasn't responding when she was being shouted to so um we eventually got the idea for makoto to break in using a broom handle or something like that and so kyoko aoi and makoto um got into the rec room to then discover that sakura was dead so she'd apparently been murdered um but we're still not sure exactly what killed her but it appears to be according to the clues we've got she was hit over the head with some kind of object which we believe are monokuma bottles um and what i can tell from the clues is she was hit by two monokuma bottles although makoto never made that assumption never clicked with him but it will in the trial i guess so she's been hit over the head with blunt objects, which are bottles, and there also appears to be vomiting of blood. And based on the evidence, it appears that her protein shake was poisoned. We were told in the chem lab there was various proteins and health stuff, but also cleaning agents and chemicals, aka poisons. We were told a body has been discovered when Aoi Makoto and Kyoko discovered the body. Aoi was very in shock because obviously it's her best friend that's been found dead um she went to go get the others and they all were obviously shocked that um sakura was dead but we learned that byakia toko slash genocide jill and hero had been asked to meet sakura at some point that morning and so she died at noon so i wonder if something will come to light within the trial based on all the clues we've got. This trial so far is not so set in stone in knowing absolutely who done it. Um, we certainly have major suspects and people who are suspicious, but we also have some who are innocent. Obviously, Makoto didn't do it. Um, Kyoko, I don't believe, did it. I want to believe Aoi wouldn't betray her friend in any way, and I want to believe Aoi's innocent, but I can't fully say that she didn't do it. She probably didn't do it, but I don't know. But definitely, um, Byaki is a bit suspicious. Although he's the least suspicious, but he's a bit suspicious. And Hiro and Toko are the most suspicious. Most suspicious. The investigation is completed. We found all the clues we need to complete the trial. And Monokuma has summoned us to begin the class trial. So, let us get into it as soon as my controller decides to switch on again. Uh, yes, thank you very much, controller. Right, so guys, so just before we head in, um, so just checking the report card with Sakura, and I don't think I'm ever going to fill up everyone's report card because I don't know how many times you have to talk to them. I've talked to Toko about five times, and it still never came up with a notification saying I filled her report card. So. You basically, I think I may have said this in a previous episode, but you basically had to know, like, you probably had to have watched the anime before playing the game to know who was going to die in order to fill up the cards in time. So Sakura is still noted as alive just now, but she'll be dead by the end of this trial. Um, uh, it's so weird so, seeing so many dead people. There's only six left. Ah. Uh, all right, so truth bullets and also 
I think this trial could be the longest one yet because I believe this is the most truth bullets we've had so far. So there's certainly a lot going on. Um, lots and lots of clues, but there is very, with, with the clues, there is various scenarios in the way Sakura could have died or how it was happened, how it all panned out. So anyway, guys, let's use these clues and determine who the killer is. Let us get back into this and complete the trial and get justice for Sakura. So let's do this. Oh my God, this room feels so empty now due to the lack of people that are left. Oh my God, there's only six left. Oh no. Monokuma made his announcement and everyone began to meet up one after another. And then, oh, he's come to see us before we go. Uh -huh. The ultimate martial artist. A locked room murder mystery. He's very excited about this trial because it's very interesting, as him and Byakia would put it. Very interesting. What the? Yeah, this is very unusual for Monokuma to show up before we get to the trial. <laughs> oh, I've just recently discovered the power of emoticons. Oh yeah, I did notice. Yeah, he did. Um, he had an emo in his speech. Like, no matter how awful something is, if you toss in a smiley face, it turns positive. Um, uh, not necessarily true, Monokuma. Yes, indeed. For example, <laughs> you're at a picnic and you find a dead body. XD, oh, you bastard. This is just plain creepy. Well? And how about the reverse? No matter how great something is, if you put in a sad face, it makes it look super negative. Yes, indeed. For example, do you have a hundred friends? Oh, crying face. Oh. He's right. That does make it seem sad. I can't wait. I can't wait. Now then, please get on the elevator. <laughs> I'll see you all down there. So got. Uh, is that like? Uh, I'm not sure which what all those ones mean. Okay. What the hell was that? Mm. I don't get it. Just the worst. I don't get you guys. How can you act so casual after murdering someone? D don't look at me. Yeah, and also Aoi is pretty convinced that it is either Hiro, Byakuya, or Toko that murdered Sakura. But uh, there's certainly evidence that points towards Hiro, and there's certainly evidence that points towards Toko, but whether everything is it's as what it seems we will find out once the trial commences i guess i i don't think i'm acting casual don't be mean. Uh, i mean i didn't murder anyone <gasps> what the heck? yeah i'm completely innocent how did today you call me a murderer what the heck? whatever hm. either way the truth will be revealed soon enough because there can be no doubt one of us is the culprit hmm Usually, yes, so, yeah, definitely one of you did it. The killer. The one that murdered Sakura. She was stronger than anyone I know. And yet, someone killed her. Time to find out who did it, you bastards. And that person is here? Well, Makoto doesn't sound convinced. The per that person is one of us? Apparently so. The culprit is one of us. Make no mistake about that. Doko? But because I didn't do it, how many times do I have to tell you? Hero? D don't look at me! I said it before and I'll say it again. It wasn't me! Hmm. What the heck? How can you just stand there and say you didn't do it without even breaking a sweat? Doko? Standing around here isn't going to do any good. Let's get going. Yeah, and this trial is relying heavily on my um, usage of s smarts and brain power and our use of evidence because Kyoko wasn't able to move. She was on bodyguard duty this time because now both the original bodyguards are dead. 
Okay. I think I've already looked at these before. I don't think they're going to give me anything else new. Now, let us begin the trial, guys, lads and lasties. Here we go. Come on, it's time to put an end to this. I made my way toward the elevator. But with each step I took, I felt like I was moving further and further away from the, my goal. What is your goal, Makoto? Just getting out of here, I guess? I could feel a chilling fear running through me, trying to make me rot from the inside out. Ooh. No matter how many times I go through this, it never gets any easier. Well, yeah, I, I'd imagine it wouldn't be easier. We climbed into our steel prison in total silence. Wow, what an image. Oh, this elevator scene is going to look so empty. We watched the doors close and felt it begin its sinister descent. Oh my god, it's, the elevator feels so big now because there's so few people left. So we've got Aoi at the... Did they, no, they don't really switch positions that much. Aoi's at the button. Well, I guess Aoi doesn't want anything to do with anybody right now because she can't be sure who did it. But do we know if she did it? The elevator lowered, uttering its all too familiar clunking sounds. It fell lower and lower. Oh yeah, Monokuma, I'm curious to know what you've done with the trial room. You always redecorate every trial. And as suddenly as always... The ride was over. The doors opened once again. Oh, Egyptian theme? Hmm, just the six of you, huh? Really? There's so few. You must be so lonely. You bastard. It's your fault. Yeah. You say that like it's not your fault we're all that's left. <laughs> I wonder. Will the class trial end with one less classmate again? Or... Wait. Monokuma? What are you suggesting? That you won't punish someone? Or... Is there actually something else afoot? Interesting. Okay, let's see what you got. Will your school life come to an end completely? And that is also a possibility. Now then, are we ready to begin? You know the drill. Find your assigned seats. I don't know why he says seats. It doesn't look like they're sitting down. And so the curtain opened for the fourth time. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly... Class trial, begin! Uh, yes, please. Um, now then, I have actually started to run out of slots, guys, so it looks as if I'm going to have to start saving over the original files. Didn't really want to do that, but not got much of a choice. Unless I just save over the... In fact, actually use the that, that file. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's not displaying the writing, but this must be the overwrite command, so I'm going to say yes. It's a bit weird. Maybe a slight glitch. Anyway, uh, open the handbook. So we've got the truth bullet. So we've got the Monokuma file, the door, the status of Sakura, the magazine shelf, the polka dot candies, the shards, the, ga the figurines, yeah, the bottles, the protein drink. There is a lot going on in this trial, and the, I can see it going various ways because of the evidence, so it depends what is necessarily relevant. So, let's do this. Before I do, though, check my skills. Right, so I've only attained one additional skill point, but I have got a few more skills. So, cool and composed. Steady your aim a little, effective during the non-stop debate and the hangman's gambit. I'm usually quite good at the non-stop debates in the Hangman's Gambit, although last trial was a bit crap near the end after for the convicting statement to Celeste. So I might not necessarily need that one. Increases your true bullet rate of fire, effective during the non-stop debate in the bullet time battle final strike. <sighs> I probably would keep that one. I'm just wondering whether I should mix it up. Increases damage to the point when a statement is destroyed, effective during the bullet time battle, so I definitely want that. Increases the bullet capacity effective during the bullet time battle. That's also a good one. Handy work allows you to reload two bullets at once during the bullet time battle. 
I guess I don't necessarily need this skill right now. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with what I've got for now. Okay, guys. It's time to begin the next class trial. Um, I think for Hifumi and Kiyotaka's trial, I forgot to read the bottom bit. Multiple suspects. Murder in a locked room. If anyone was likely to survive, it was Sakura. And yet... Dot, dot, dot. She didn't. Yeah, I really did think Sakura would be one of the last ones to go if, if indeed she didn't survive. So... Um, it's actually quite surprising she's gone now. So, we must find out what happened. Let's do it. Begin the trial. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. Of course, Manakuma. Also, guys, if I sense bullshit from anyone, I have the button on standby. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll be like the I need I need to we hammer just like Monokuma and bash the button at the end to whoever, whoever's guilty. Uh, I need to get that. <laughs> okay, basic explanation. Yes, we know, but we'll let you do it anyway. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, dum 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 dum. Then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now then, where to begin? Yeah, this is an interesting trial where to begin. Like a few of the ones we've dis discussed how they were murdered. So I'm guessing we should start there, but let's see what happens. We already know who did it. Oh shit, Aoi wants to just immediately accuse someone. I'm guessing she's going to say Toko. Whoa! Deja vu! And yeah, didn't Aoi say that in the last the last trial with Celeste? Might have been her, or it was at least someone else said it exactly at the beginning as well. The one who killed Sakura. Mm-hmm. Who? Aoi? Is one of the people that hated her. Byakuya, Toko, or Hiro? It was one of you. Okay, so if you want to back that up, we need to present the evidence. I was going to say, you can't just accuse someone immediately. We can't vote immediately. <laughs> of course, of course, he'd just immediately say, no, nah, idiot. Wrong. I have nothing to do with it. Well, maybe you didn't, Toko, but what about genocide, Jill? Yeah, I'd never kill someone. No way. And you just look really suspicious, dude. Ina seems really sure that one of those three is the killer. But she must have some reason for believing that. Oh, here we go, guys. Let's make the arguments. How is it count? It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get. All right, I must need to change my bullets because Aoi's account doesn't really, it's not really relevant here. It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get. Um, so some concrete reason why Hina suspects those three specifically. I'm sure she's mentioned it before. It was one of you. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's Damn it. That's about as low as you can get. 
is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing me? No, it's wrong. It was relevant. <laughs> Another reason you suspect them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? Mmm, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and that was right before she died. Hmm. So there's no doubt about it. One of those three killed her. Hmm, it's not... Good point, but it's not still a lot... Not a lot to go on. I can't disagree with Hina. There's good reason to spe suspect all three of them. Then does that mean one of them did it? We need more. Pocket trash. Ah, right, so we need to check Hero. This is to do with Hero. The fact that Sakura wanted to meet with all three of them? There's no way that's not suspicious. One of you is absolutely guilty. I don't deny that she wanted to meet with us, but I never went to see her. I didn't either. Yeah, same here. I never saw her. Yeah, here we've got evidence to suggest you were there with her. Hero, when we were talking before, you dropped a small piece of paper, remember? Mm hmm. It was white with red polka dots. Mm hmm. What's that got to do with anything? Oh, we know what it's got to do with. Yep, the sweet wrappers, are we, remember? Mm-hmm. No, it's... it's... um... At the moment, dude, you are number one suspect. Ever since we got into the warehouse, I totally monopolized that entire box of candy. Mm -hmm. So there's no way a single one of them was left in the warehouse. Okay. In that case, Hero, where did you get that piece of candy? From Sakura! It's the only explanation! Hmm, that makes sense. Uh, um... Right, dude, you better have an answer if you're to be proven innocent. Well, I mean, yeah, sure, I got it from her, but... Right. But she gave it to me forever ago. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to her. Right. When? When did she give it to you? You better have a good answer. The last time you saw Sakura was... When Hina had to go to the nurse's office, right? Mm hmm Yeah, so I must have got it some time before then. <laughs> but what Hero said can't be right, exactly. That's why I hit the bullshit button. Because Sakura could only have gotten the candy after the incident in the nurse's office, yeah? And the reason I know that is... Um... Sakura got the candy. Love candy too much. Yeah. When Sakura got that candy. I got it. I'm not sure about that, Hero. Yeah, suspicious. Hina didn't actually give Sakura the candy until after she left the nurse's office. Mm-hmm. So if that was the last time you saw her... There's no reason you should have had that candy. Correct. Damn it. Suspicious. Extremely suspicious. Right, dude, you better have some freaking answers. Uh, I mean, what I meant was, uh... You're fucked. Maybe this trial's ending very quickly, guys. Oh, that's right! I did meet up with her in the rec room. You got a problem with that? Right. Couldn't you have just told us that from the beginning? I a sudden hostility. Mm. But we just talked. That's all. I didn't do anything. You gotta believe me. Well, present some evidence or tell us what you did. You're acting incredibly suspicious. Yes. You're acting incredibly suspicious. She hasn't done anything really so far. Hmm. It's not just normal hostility. You're the real culprit! I even have proof! Okay, present it then. Proof? What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about her shining message. 
Uh, shining message. Okay. What would a shining message even be? Yeah, good point. If you're gonna bring some clairvoyant crap on us, don't bother, dude. At the scene of the crime, oh, he saw this. Toko in her own blood, right? Mm -hmm. It was her dying message. Just like what you guys were talking about with Sayaka. Very convenient, though, that you know about that hero. That's true. I saw it for myself. Howie, don't jump to believing him just yet. See? See? Togo did it! Hmm. Oh, what are you saying? No way! I didn't do it! Hmm. You just don't know when you're beat, do you? Even though he's trying to shift the blame, this is not really helping Hero at all. I totally suspect it's him so far. Hero, hold on. Yeah, come on, Kyoko. When did you see that dying message of hers? Ooh, good question. Huh? Yeah, when? Well, when we found Ogre's body. Duh. Why'd you keep calling her Ogre? But if you recall, Hina was very adamant about keeping you away from the scene of the crime. Oh, 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 oh. got you, you bastard. That's true. Only Biakia was allowed in this crime scene. So it's hard to believe that's when you actually saw the message for yourself. Yeah, you you have dug yourself a hole, sir. Huh? Hold on. But when Kyoko found the magazine with the dying message in it, it was... Uh, it wasn't under the... it was on the magazine shelf. I got it. Yeah. Kyoko, you found the magazine on the magazine shelf, right? Yeah. That's right. Looking through the shelf, I found the magazine with the dying message on it. Mm -hmm. I found it right there at the scene of the crime, after we'd started the investigation. Okay. If that's true, then what Hiro just said doesn't really make sense, does it? Mm okay. It doesn't make sense? Okay. What doesn't make sense? Everything I said makes perfect sense! Hmm. There's definitely something strange about it. Hyogo found the dying message during the investigation, in which case... Um, Hiro shouldn't have had access to the room, so he shouldn't have been able to see it. And why would there be a blood message with Toko in it before the crime scene was unveiled? So before Sakura's body was discovered or even before she was murdered. That clearly contradicts what Hiro told us. Magazine dying message. you exactly when I found the dying message. Right, when? When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. He said he saw the dying message when he first found the body. But at that time, at that time, where was the magazine? It's on the shelf. I can tell you exactly when I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. What's your problem? What I said makes total sense! I can tell you yeah, it was on the shelf. When I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. And I can tell you when I found the dying message. It was only after the investigation had begun. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine Shit, shelf. Shit, didn't mean to press that button. Sorry, Kyoko. I found the magazine tucked away on the magazine shelf. When I pulled it out, I saw her final words. 
What's your problem? What I said makes total sense. So this would suggest if he, what he was saying is true, then the magazine has moved in between times. I can tell you exactly where I found the dying message. When Ogre's body was discovered. No, there we go. When Sakura's body was found, that magazine was sitting on the shelf nearby. Yep. That's where Kyoko found it. After we'd begun the investigation. Mm hmm And you weren't at the murder scene. Yep. So there's no way you could have seen it then. Yes. So how were you in the room, Hiro, if that's the case? Yeah, you've just kind of stated you were in the room. Tell us the truth, Hiro. When did you see the message? Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on! You're focusing on the wrong part! Why does it matter when I saw it? Well, <laughs> of course it matters, because we know when Sakura died, and she was in a locked room scenario, so there had to be a killer inside the room. All you gotta do is read the Vienna sausage Ogre left us, and we know who the killer is! Toko! Mm, it's too easy. I don't even know where to begin with that one. Yeah, that was the weirdest statement he's ever made so far, I think. He's just trying to confuse us. Possibly. Actually, can we even be sure Sakura wrote that message in the first place? True. Um, yeah? Well, ah, uh, uh, no. We can't. We, she couldn't have because her hands were clean. Unlike Sayaka, whose finger was covered in blood, Sakura's hands were clean. Mm. I think we can all agree Ogre wrote that message. No, we can't. 100% without a doubt, she wrote it. And this is me talking, so you know it's true. Yeah, sure. We believe everything that the clairvoyant guy who rips people off in scams is doing. We believe every word he says when he has a 20% accuracy rate. He even said it himself. Without a doubt? No, I absolutely do doubt it. There's no way Sakura wrote that message. Hangman's Gambit? On the moment of truth? Oh, he's denying it. Oh, shit. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Give it a rest. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Shit. I screwed it up. I'm never really good at that point. Yes, yes. They're gonna convict Makoto. I know. It appeared that the one with the most votes is Makoto. Oh, uh, Makoto is not the black and too bad. I refuse to give up yet. Yeah, let's try and do it better this time. It's the bullet time battle. So the bullet time battle can happen in the trials at any time. Show me the proof. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Give it a rest. I'm at least 30% right. The occult is bullcrap. Take that, hero. Show me the proof. This should prove it. Her hands were spotless. She didn't write it. I'm completely unconvinced that Sakura wrote that dying message. Yeah. Because if you look at it, the message was almost certainly written using a finger. But mm -hmm. both of her hands were completely free of blood. Yeah. So hmm. who did write it? Someone else. Hero could very well have written it himself. Yeah. 
That would explain how he knew about the message in the first place. Yeah, it's very true. Not many people found it. Um, well, Toka was barred from the scene. Hero was supposed to be barred from the scene, so only Biakia was the only other one investigating. Aoi was just mainly guarding the crime scene. Right, Hero. Things are not looking good for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Oh. So he admits that he wrote the note, he wrote the dying message, so he was trying to shift blame. So did you do it? Ah! He admits it! I figured as much. Hmm. But did he kill Sakura? But why would you write something like that? Hmm. Because... Did you kill her? Because I killed her! He just went out and said it. I thought this trial would last a long while, but I guess not. What the hell? This seems way too easy. You're admitting to killing her? Please, just let me explain what happened. <sighs> okay, dude. I got Ogre's note, and so I headed to the rec room right before noon, just like it said. Okay. You just did exactly as the note asked? What a fool. <laughs> when I got there right then it, right I'm not convinced he killed her at the moment we'll see we'll see what he says but hero is a bit of an idiot he has clearly shown that he's a bit of an idiot and not everything he says rings true or sounds right so let's see what you got sorry but do you mind waiting I asked a couple of other people to meet as well Oh, okay. Would you like a piece of candy? It might help give you some energy. Uh, oh, sure. Thanks. All right, so Sakura gave him the candy. Okay. And that's all she said. After that, he just stood around in awkward silence. Stood, okay. Suddenly, I heard her mutter something. Right. This is it. Sakura? I'm going to end it today. I'm going to end everything. As soon as I heard that, I just knew. I knew she was going to try and kill me. Right. She was going to kill me and make her escape. Mm-hmm. So of course I freaked out, and then... And then? I saw my only chance. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf and smashed it across her head! Holy crap, holy crap, so Hero was the one who hit her over the head with a bottle. Okay. I... I hit her from behind, before she had any idea what was happening. I think it's gonna take more than one bottle to hurt, like, to take Sakura out. She looked, in that for a picture, she looks pissed, if anything. your move again after that once it was over i pulled myself together i realized if i didn't do something i'd be caught and executed so i wrote toko's name in blood across a magazine on the table and i ran away okay so he left the room i can't believe you you're the worst i hope you die well if if there's no more evidence presented and he's found guilty he will Oh, um, well, yeah, unless he is, actually. Well, if he's not the black and... No, they picked the wrong one, they're all executed and the real person gets away with it. So he's either going to die if he's guilty or you, the rest of you are going to die. Well, that's what happened. Go ahead. Roast me, boil me, do whatever you want. There's way too much else going on, dude. You didn't... You may have had a point involvement, technically. But I don't think you killed her. You're not gonna get off that easy. Hmm. It's death. Death for the one that killed Sakura. I'm still not convinced. We're ready to vote now, right? We know who did it. No, Aoi, don't jump to conclusions. I don't think this is over. No, I think there's more to hear our story. Yeah. What are you talking about? What else could there be? Because we have evidence to suggest there is more. There's one thing that Hero's story just now doesn't explain. Yep. 
And until we figure that part out, we can't consider the case closed. So what is it that Hero did that doesn't make sense? They only hit her with one bottle. What he, what he would have had to do after writing the message, it doesn't make sense. Why he didn't use Sakura's finger? That's a good point, but why there was the magazine hidden? Yeah, he would have wanted people to see that. I got it. That's true. Everything you just said. It doesn't explain why the magazine was hidden, does it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so someone found your magazine with the blood name, but didn't want Toko to be blamed. Hmm. By the time the body was discovered, the magazine had been picked up and put on the shelf. Yeah. Why would you take the time to write that message, then stick it somewhere we might not find it? True. Oh. Well, uh... Dude, just tell us where you put the magazine and that should help out. I didn't hide it. I'm sure I just left it sitting there on the table. There we go, then. Really? Because it wasn't there during the crime scene. He's lying! He's gotta be lying! I don't think so, Toko. I don't see any reason he would lie now, after already confessing to the crime. He's not lying? Yep. Assuming he's telling the truth, someone else must have put the magazine back on the shelf. Correct, Biakia. In other words, at least one other person was in the rec room both before and after the incident. Yeah, and we've got evidence to suggest that. I don't think there's any question about that. But then, who was it? We don't know yet. If they went to the trouble of hiding the magazine... But that would suggest that it might be Toko. They must not have liked what was written on it. Yeah, correct. Someone who wouldn't like what had been written. There's only one choice. Toko. I got it! It had to be Toko, right? Mm-hmm. Well, it's pretty obvious, Toko. If you want... You don't want to be that message to have been seen. It's most likely to be you that hid the magazine. Who else would want to hide the magazine other than the person whose name was written on it? Yeah. Is he right, Toko? Did you really go to the rec room? Possibly. Or did it genocide Jill? Why would I have... Wait, but more important... Uh-huh. Yeah, that wasn't enough to kill her. That's right. I killed her. Not helping yourself, dude. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, blast you! I don't doubt Hero attacked Sakura with the bot. But that's not where this case ends. Yeah. What do you mean? We have evidence to suggest more. Plus she was hit with two bottles. What he means is that Hero isn't the killer. Yeah. Are you serious? That's just... I don't believe it! Hero, tell us what happened one more time. If we go through it once more, it should become clear he's not Sakura's killer. Um, so what do you want me to do? Go through. Explain what you did again. Just tell us what happened one more time when you attacked Sakura. I don't really see why, but... Okay. Because we'll reveal evidence to save your ass. We haven't reached the end of the case just yet. Hero isn't the real killer. And I have to prove that. So what are we doing? Go to Samination Summer Status of Sakura's body, the yellow powder. Okay. I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed the Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. And I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. Mm -hmm. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once. Is that right? Yeah, just once. After the first swing, the bottle shattered. And she went limp. See? Isn't it obvious? Hero really is the killer! 
hero hit Sakura, that's for sure, but this doesn't end there. Something that proves that the wounds on her head, yeah. I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby, and I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once, is that right? Yeah, just once. What's wrong with this, isn't it? I didn't want to, but I did it. I grabbed a Monokuma bottle from the shelf nearby. Unless it's this bullet. And I hit Ogre from behind before she could do anything. You hit her from behind. And you only hit her once. Is that right? Yeah, just once. No, it's wrong. If Sakura died from Hiro's single blow, that doesn't explain why she had two head wounds. Yeah. Two? She was hit twice. That's right. She had two separate wounds on her head. And remember, this girl examines dead bodies as a hobby. Personally, I'm inclined to believe her. As a hobby? Wow. Yeah, we definitely need to learn about Kyoko's past. But I only hit her once. How could she have two wounds? Because someone else hit her over the head with another Monokuma bottle. Two wounds means she was struck twice. What's more, both attacks must have come from a Monokuma bottle. Mm -hmm. Hold on! How can you know that just from some cuts on her head? Yes, we have the evidence. She was attacked twice with two Monokuma bottles? Yep. It's not just because of her head wounds. It's also because of the Monokuma bottles themselves. There's something very suspicious about those bottles. Mm -hmm. Once you understand that point, you'll understand why two separate Monokuma bottles must have been used. Think back. After the incident, there were four Monokuma bottles left on the shelf, yeah. right? And we found pieces of a bottle on the ground, along with the chest piece it had inside. Mm -hmm. That was the bottle Hiro hit Sakura with, right? Yeah. For now, just note that there were four intact bottles and one broken bottle. But originally, there were six bottles in total, meaning one has gone missing. Mm -hmm. But how can you know for sure there were six bottles? Those are the chest pieces. That's easy. If you look at what the bottles all had in common, it should become clear. Chess. The correlation between the Monokuma bottles, I feel like it's starting to become clear. That connection must be... It's the object that the Monokuma figure inside each bottle is holding, yeah. Chess piece. Oh no. Now I understand. That's it. The chest pieces. Mm -hmm. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chest piece. Correct. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was... A knife. A knife, if I remember. Yeah. So, what's that matter? So the queen is missing, Toko. I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. In chess, there are six different pieces. The king, the queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. And on the ground was the knight. Oh! So the queen is king. 
Correct. So we only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does Charles have to do with anything? Ah, oh, Toko. Cool. I think we knew who done it. Yeah, Shogi is way better. Dude, not the time to compare games. Yeah. Wait, no, that's not what I mean. <laughs> so, let's say a bottle did go missing. Mm -hmm. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. Yeah, there is. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. No, it couldn't have, because we have the evidence to suggest there was two bottles on the ground. No. It's clear that the missing bottle is connected to this case. How is it clear? Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. Mm -hmm. Wait, then the bottle that was missing... It was excited. What the hell? It's broken. I got it. The bottle must have been broken. Correct. What makes you so sure? Because the weights. Because the there was evidence of the scene that supports it. Yep. Huh? Mm hmm. That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. Yep. And what is this evidence? It wasn't just a single broken bottle, and the evidence that proves that is the weights. Kyoko and I figured that out before. Uh, uh, the Monokuma bottle experiment, I think, yeah. I got it. Earlier, Kyoko and I did a little experiment. Experiment? We compared the weight of the broken bottle pieces at the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. And what we found was that the collection of pieces was heavier. And the reason for that is... There was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. Haha. <laughs> so from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. But someone did their best to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles, along with the figure inside. Mm -hmm. But when they did, they must have left behind a few too many pieces. Yep. Which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. Yep. But why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? To cover the tracks, are we? Because of what it would reveal about the case. There could be no doubt that the second missing Monokuma bottle is involved in this case. It must have been used by... Some bowling aficionados. <laughs> the choices are getting beyond ridiculous. Uh, Sakura's second attacker. I got it. The bottle that was removed from the scene was used the second time Sakura was attacked. Yep. The second wound on Sakura's head came from that second bottle. Yep. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. Mm -hmm. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hiro who delivered that second blow. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree, Toto? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I think she's going to release Genocide Joe. And there's the matter of the magazine. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Mm. Wait, I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but... Mm -hmm. But there's no evidence I had anything to do with it. Right, how exactly? No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! Shut up! Until two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her! I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Idiot. Plus, I just remembered something that proves it. Oh, right, come on then. I doubt it's going to be any use, but come on. Okay, fine. Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. Right. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stick it out or whatever. Oh. 
Okay, right, you might have something. So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. Okay. I saw Tango go into the wreck room. Right. He did? Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into the wreck room. Okay. I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. And then when you went there, Toko wasn't there. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. So Toko was in the locker. And you just now decided to share that with us? After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all about it. Let someone tighten the screws on his brain. I think they've come loose. <laughs> For once, I agree with Biakia. So, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? Oh, we have evidence to suggest where she went. You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the wreck room. Mm-hmm. I'm sure she didn't disappear, but maybe she found somewhere to hide. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hiding in the wreck room? Don't be ridiculous. No, it's totally possible. Why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but vermin. Not very nice. No, it's not ridiculous at all. I need proof that shows Toko was hiding in the wreck room. And I have it. She left it there for anyone to find. Oh, a new element is mad. Oh, bullet time battles are oh, gonna have another bullet time battle oh. would you like to hear more sure so far you've probably been pressing the y button during your final strike without a second thought right oh no you're gonna add white noise to that section aren't you but from now on you're gonna have to pay a little extra attention to your finishing blow now you'll have to choose the proper truth bullet to use during your coup de grace oh great You'll select it the same way as during the non-stop debate, simply using the, the L1 button. Also, like the debate, if your logic difficulty is set to kind, you'll have fewer bullets to choose from. Nah, mine... It, wait. It is set to kind, so I'll have fewer bullets. Okay. But for educational purposes, we're going to pretend you're set to mean regardless. Thanks very frickin' much. Just this once, okay? Oh, by the way, you're about halfway through the game now. Go, you... We're only halfway now. Holy shit. Uh, well, thanks, narrator. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay. So it's a BTB with Toko, I guess. Yeah. It's a lie. I curse you. Struggling this one. It's a lie. I admit you know nothing. Why the heck am I missing so much? the evidence we need you know someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the locker <laughs> they must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking yeah does this handprint look familiar toko it doesn't mm -hmm. okay then let's just compare it to your hand shall we that'll clear everything up right yeah so Toko, did you do it, or was it Genocide Jill? Stop wasting my time. Just tell us the truth. Yeah, of course Byakuya is not going to be on your side, even though you call him Master so much. He has no interest in you, really, Toko. I'm afraid. So if you waste his time and make the game not interesting, he's not interested. Okay, it's my handprint. Right. Dang. 
She just straight up admitted it. Well, she'll obey anything Byakuya says, pretty much. Then you killed Sakura! I'm... I mean, there's still evidence we haven't used, so I'm not 100% convinced. No, I swear, there's no way! Plus, Sakura... She's, you know, she should, can go Super Saiyan at any time, so I don't believe two bottle blows to the head is going to kill her. Out with it. I probably did kill her. Straight up again? <laughs> Just get Byakuya to question her. Wait, what do you mean probably? Yeah. Give us the details, Toko. What happened between you and Sakura? Mm -hmm. Probably not much, you just bash her on the head from behind. Okay, do it. Huh. Now. <laughs> just needs Byakuya. After I read Sakura's note, I decided to go there early, so I went into the rec room. Okay. I didn't know what she might do if I didn't go, but I was too scared to face her head on. Okay. So I figured I'd just sneak in first. And hide in the locker. Right. And then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Must have. Yeah. And I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Oh. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> yes. So, after he left, I jumped out of the locker. And got rid of the magazine. But you put it upside down. And... Put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. Yeah. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Makes sense, I guess. But then... So Sakura didn't react to you jumping out the locker or anything? Imbeciles, all of you. <laughs> Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? I put the magazine back. I heard a sound behind me like a like a monster growling. Okay. And when I turned around. Uh-huh. There was Sakura covered in blood and staring right at me. Oh shit. Oh shit. So, she's covered in blood because of the head wound Hero gave her, I guess. When I saw all that blood, I fainted. Right there in front of the magazines. Ah, uh, that would make sense. Toko would faint because of her blood phobia. But that means Genocide Jill was released, I guess. But I saw the blood from her face. That, does, that still doesn't explain the blood next to the magazine stand. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask her. Yep, yeah, bring her on. Huh? Her? You mean, yes. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Long time no see. It was your fault after all. My fault? When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights! Oh my. Yakya, you need to get away from this stalker killer bitch. <laughs> Just answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Yeah. Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. Morose? Toko, I guess that means. We don't share memories. Oh. So I can't really say what was going on. Interesting. Well, then what happened after Toko passed out? But I was just minding my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Uh, Sakura, I guess. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wonder. So I opened my eyes to see. Bah. <laughs> everywhere! I was not prepared for that. Yeah, I suppose the sight of blood would trigger genocide, Jill. Surprise! I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find! Which I guess was a bottle. So it wasn't Toko that smashed the bottle, it was Genocide Jill. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... You're terrible! Mm. No, she's terrible! Thanks to 
of her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! Still not convinced that this is the end. And when it was all over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! Yeah, so she definitely wants to kill Viakia. Interesting. Just go away and die your meaningless death alone. Don't drag me in. <laughs> but I just can't catch a break, you know? Fate's got it out for me. Really? This can't be it. Because normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem! But she must have been concussed from the first bottle attack? Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Mm -hmm. Hey, come on! That's... you know... True, probably. But anyway, I'm not the one that killed Ogre! So that's good! <laughs> For you. So that's good. Keep talking, keep talking like that and Hina's gonna... Yeah, she will destroy you. Well then, that's that. Let's start the boat. Um, no. Not yet. Huh? I thought for sure you'd have some words for Hero on that one. What's wrong? Come on, everyone, we're ready to vote, right? Let's do this. I don't think so. No, not quite yet. Yeah, Biakia will present his evidence from the chemical lab, I guess. Huh? Yep. Not yet. Plus, we have evidence Why to present yet? as well. Don't you think there was something odd about Toko's story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd? Huh? Mm-hmm. Hero's attack, and then Toko's, but that still wasn't the end of it. Yeah, as I said, two bottle attacks ain't gonna take down Sakura. It... Oh, it wasn't? Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. This is my command, darling. <laughs> it's not over yet, is it? You should know that, Makoto. We have the evidence to suggest more went on. The one who killed Sakura is... It must be the yellow powder. Surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. Mm -hmm. and you smashed her head in with a Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up! I killed her there in front of the shower! So, if the second shot from Tokyo is what killed Sakura, then the problem is, when Sakura died, it was. Peacefully. And all of a sudden, Sakura was right there in front of me! I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shelf! You were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood! So you smashed her head in with the Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up! I killed her there in front of the shelf! No, it's water! Sakura had moved. We found Sakura sitting upright in a chair. Yeah. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. Correct. So, you finally noticed. That's just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. No, I don't think so, Aoi. Are you sure you didn't attack her while she was sitting in the chair? No, I'm sure she's telling the truth. Anyone who saw the murder scene should think the same way. Yeah. That has to be it. The evidence that proves there was an attack in front of the magazine shell. Well, the magazine shell busted. I got it! Sakura was definitely attacked in front of the shell. The blood stained by the magazines is proof of that. Yeah. Then she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? Toko or Genocide Joe's gonna be able to move Sakura? I don't think so. Oh, 
to make it look like I did it. Because when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on now. Look at me. I can't carry anything heavier than my own scissors. Sounds as if he will carry out the first attack. So, yeah, because she was bloody. So Hero definitely hit first, then Toto hit. Or Jail hit at the magazine shelf. So then she definitely moved afterwards. Mm. Unlikely that Jill was able to carry Sakura. There's no way I could move a muscle bound heavyweight like that. Then, then what's the deal? She wasn't dead after your two blows, probably. Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? No. I I don't want to suspect Aoi, but she seems to want this trial to end soon. Plus, the biggest mystery of all, the locked room, still has yet to be explained. Okay. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. Yeah. Oh, that part's easy. Oh, is it Aoi? After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. No. Oh, so she just hid in there till everyone showed up and opened the door? Don't think so, we would have noticed. And while everything was all confused and hectic, she just snuck out of the locker into the group. But the locker's right in front of the door, you would be able to see who came out the locker. No, I don't think that's possible. The reason there's no way Toko was hiding in the locker is because... Um... I was in the locker, no. It was too, too small for Toko, no. I saw it, I saw it for myself, yeah, it must be that. Oh my God. Even before we opened the door to the rec room, Hina and I both got a look inside. Oh yeah, it was open, it was open. And at that point, the locker was already open. Yep. So obviously Toko couldn't have been hiding in there. Okay then, where was she hiding? No one was in the room, I don't think. They'd already gone at that point. I don't know. What's the full lock room thing about anyway? Oh, yeah, Joe won't know this because they don't share memories. You do not know! You killed her! I think the fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're lying! Don't know about that, are we? No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. But if Genocide Jill didn't do it, that means Ogre didn't die from the shot to the head! Correct, Hero. Thank you very much. Ding, ding, ding. You win a point. And... Mm -hmm. well, well, I can't imagine what else could have killed her. Oh, we know. That's because you're overlooking vital information. Could we really be missing something so important? Yes, you've got the evidence! If there's another possible explanation, maybe it's... So it could be the file or the yellow powder. What was it that killed Ogre? It wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack. And what was it? There's no other possible cause. What killed Sakura? I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. No, it's wrong. Monokuma foul states the vomiting of blood. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura had vomited blood. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause of death. Yeah. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Well, I mean, maybe when she got hit with the bottle, she cut the inside of her mouth. No. If that's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. Correct. Monokuma won't give you exaggerations. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. Well, she examined her that closely. Check in there? God, you really are into dead bodies! Of course, Jill would like that. No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. She must be the ultimate detective or something. But if there wasn't a cut or anything, then what made her vomit blood? Oh, we know. 
some sort of reaction within her body. Most likely, Sakura was poisoned. Correct, Byakuya. Poisoned? That's right. This is the conclusion I've arrived at, and so there can be no mistake. Oh yes, because I'm always right, dick. <laughs> You're making me go all weak in the knees! Oh god. She was poisoned? It isn't possible! Oh, it is. Is it really so hard to believe? Then let me explain exactly how the culprit was able to poison her. You can explain it? Yeah. Of course, if you don't mind. Everyone, quiet! Shut up and listen to Master! But you're the only one talking. The key to unlocking this mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Yeah. Not in the rec room? Then I could have found it all along. You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. Well, yeah, good point. There's a big shelving unit in the chem lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. Correct. And that's where I found this. Is that the poison? It's not an especially powerful poison, but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. Right, okay. But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. Where'd you find it? The shelf is divided up into three sections. A, B, and C. Correct, Byakuya. So far, he's doing well. In section A, dietary supplements. In B, reagents. And in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? Well... That's the question, isn't it? The bottle of poison Biakia just showed us. I'm sure I know where he got it. It was on the same shelf as all the supplements. I'm positive it was in section A. I got it! The poison was actually in section A, wasn't it? You just said that section A was for supplements or whatever. Yeah. Strange, isn't it? Why would there be a bottle of poison mixed in with all those nutritional additives? Mm -hmm. Which Sakura and Aoi would certainly go into. Yeah, so? Why? You idiot. Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. Wh what do you mean? Aoi, someone poisons Sakura deliberately. Think about it. I mean... this. What? I couldn't believe my eyes. Byaki is going to drink the poison? It can't be. It can't be the poison. I couldn't believe my eyes. Byaki put the bottle of poison to his lips and... Master! We were so shocked at what we were seeing. All we could do is stand there and watch. It doesn't contain the poison. He wouldn't just top himself. He wouldn't just kill himself here, I don't think. But as if it were the most natural thing in the world, the Akio was as calm as ever. Because the bottle, ah, uh, the bottle doesn't contain poison. It contains the protein supplements because the protein supplement bottle had the poison in it. That would make sense. No, he isn't. He just drank a he just drank a protein supplement. You have to drink some water. You can't just swallow powder. It'll stick to your throat. Idiot! He just swallowed poison. We need to make him spit it out. The flavor certainly makes me want to spit it out. What's so high quality about this stuff? <laughs> He's not even going to tell them. <laughs> such an it. Such an ass. What are you talking about? That poison, as I said, the poison bottle has protein in it. I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? Oh, even Makoto doesn't get it. Can I see that bottle for a second? Oh, sure. Do whatever you like. Kyoko took the bottle from Byakuya and scraped out a bit of the contents with one finger. She touched her finger to her tongue. This is... It's protein powder. Yeah. Huh? Correct. 
that wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Which makes one wonder, the poison that should have been in that bottle, where did it go? Into the supplements container. The bottle of poison was actually filled with protein powder, which would mean that conversely, the poison must have been in, could it be? Yes. Oh, another Hangman's Gambit. Jeez, we've got another long trial. Um, protein. Well, I need an R for a start. I'm not sure of the second word yet. Where's N? Come on, I need N. Uh, drink, let's drink. I and now I understand. The poison must have been poured into the protein can. Correct. If the protein's in the poison bottle, it seems only logical to assume the reverse is true, right? Yeah. Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched. So the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Holy crap! Mm -hmm. All they had to do was hand her something there at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. Oh no. No. Oh, you didn't. It's not the scene. A protein drink. I got it. You're saying they gave her a protein drink, right? Oh no, Ow, you didn't. A protein drink which actually contained a deadly poison. What? I can only think Aoi would give Sakura a protein drink. That's all it took to kill Sakura. That is the true cause of death. You know, I do remember over saying that protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. Hmm. It's true, she did say that. So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. Well, maybe, but how did... She could have brought the protein drink herself, but I doubt that. How did it get into the room? But what was offered to her instead was a bottle full of poison. Mm -hmm. And I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. Oh. For real? Who was it? Well, it would seem that only one other person would want to go to the protein shelves. Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. Hmm. The evidence that shows who switched them, it has to be... It must be what we found in front of the shelf. Uh, the footprints, right? I got it! The footprints left behind in front of the shelf. Mm -hmm. That's the evidence you're talking about, isn't it? I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints there at that point. Okay, Kyoko was spying on you. Can she confirm that? They must have appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they're connected. What's more, the footprints were in front of Section A, where I found the bottle meant for the poison. Okay. So the footprints were in front of Section A, where I found the bottle meant for the poison. Poison. Okay, yeah. The culprit must have gone to section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. Okay. And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. Right, okay. But it doesn't explain who knocked the poison bottle out of section C to cause the, po the yellow powder on the floor anyway. Do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who. It could be, but 
then again, we've got the evidence that Sakura shoes were in the boys. And... It was me. Are you kidding me? Owie? The footprints. They're mine. <laughs> I really don't want to believe that you killed Sakura. But did you? So why are they yours? If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? So did you swap the mixtures? Ogre's killer was... Wow. If, it, if this is true, that's cold as a fuck. Yep. I did it. I killed Sakura. Holy shit. This... <laughs> Utter betrayal if this is true, but I don't know, I'm still not absolutely convinced, but we haven't seen all the evidence yet, but okay, well. Just as I suspected. The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. Right. And the only people here who wear sneakers are... Sakura and Aoi. Sneakers, huh? The only people wearing sneakers here are... Um, oh, Makoto wears sneakers. Oh, okay. Well, Leon's dead, so it's not that answer, and it's not for you. Yeah. I got it! Me and Hina are the only ones. Oh, so Byaku. That explains why you... These footprints must be... Makoto, are they yours? No! Okay, then let me see your shoes and I'll confirm their size for myself. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. There is evidence of sneakers elsewhere. Just me. Not quite 100% true, guys. Plus, Nina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. And she's been wanting to end it quickly, I'll see you there. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? Yeah. This whole time, you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? It's true. I... I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. What about it can't you believe? Well, it's just... The two of them were so close. Yeah, it seems like utter betrayal if it's true. But we've got some evidence that may just throw a spanner in the works. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were such good friends that Aoi can't believe the betrayal of Sakura being the spy, I guess. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Hina used that trust to kill her. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. Mm. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. Brutal, but yeah, it's true. I bet she doesn't feel great. Is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, why? Why would you do that? Hmm. I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. Oh my god. Did she actually really... I wasn't willing to believe it completely. Did she actually do it? She asked me to bring her that protein drink. Right. But... When I went to get the powder from the chem lab, which is... Occurred to me, Alisa. What did? Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. And then... She downed it. All at once. She didn't deny it. Oh my god. 
That's messed up. And, and then... Hold it. Thank you, Kyoko, for interrupting, because there's clearly a piece of evidence which contradicts what you're about to say. I'm not convinced. You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? Mm hmm You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Oof, yeah, still talking about the game. Honey, words like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. Yeah, I guess so. A bit harsh, but I suppose that's what Monokuma wants. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. Just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. Hmm. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. How many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism. We've got evidence. But there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? She won't know because she didn't do that. Guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? Oh. What did you do then? No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. Surely you're not... Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? Mm. And if I do? Back it up. Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue like a footprint? That's a good point. It's too obvious. Too easy. I was going to say, uh, I've been saying a few things in this case have been too easy. He's right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. Ari wanted people to suspect her. Uh, that was... Alright, what's going on? I was just nervous, so I didn't notice I left the footprint. Hmm. You didn't notice? Yeah, that's just how it was. What can I do? I'm not convinced. I... There was, there's been a certain scenario I was thinking, like, while I was off camera about this, the case of the conclusion of this trial. I'm going to wait to see if it pans out before I mention it, but I think it's going to happen. Listen, Hina, could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. Okay. How come? That doesn't matter. Oh, it does. Hina, please. I'd like to know too. F fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. No, it isn't. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. Well... well... Right away, I went to Section C and got the poison. Mm -hmm. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. Well, that's a lie because there was one smash bottle left on the ground. So the bottle that, that Sakura actually drank from, that bottle of poison was put in the protein cup. So the one on the floor must have been a different one. So. I'm not going to press it because it's late at night, but that is bullshit to me. I see. Okay then, go on. So then I moved to section A and got the protein powder, and that's where I switched them. Okay. Once I was done with that, 
I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. Right. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. Yeah, you put it, you left it on. Okay, that makes sense. It was left on shelf A. And because of that, everything I did got found out. And that's it. It's sort of true as to what happened, but not completely. That story you just told mm -hmm. me. First, you went to section C to get the poison. Then move to section A to get the protein, right? You went to section C to get the poison, and then move to section A to get the protein. Well, if the po the bottle of poison was smashed on the ground, you would have had footprints along section C and B too. Meaning you went from section C to section A. Do I have that correct? Mm, yeah. But if that's true, Where's the footprints? Isn't that a little strange? Can you repeat that series of events one more time? Into an argument. What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy. It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? How long? Till we figure it out. Till I uncover the full truth of this case. Prince of the power of the camera, shark, the source of the power. First, I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Okay, and then? I moved from section C to section A. And that's where I switched the patterns. Once I was done switching them, I put the bottle filled with the protein powder back in section A. Then I took the bottle with the poison in it and left the chem lab. That's all there is to it. Honestly, that's enough. How much longer must we tolerate this? In the cam lab, where were the footprints and what direction were they facing? That play contradict what you just told us, yeah. First I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Okay, and then? I moved from section C to section A. No, it's wrong! You said you went to get the poison from Section C, and that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah. Yeah? What about it? And after that, you said you moved from Section C to Section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from Section C to Section A. That contradicts what you just said. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> then maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? I was just nervous, so I didn't notice I'd left a footprint. Yep. Yeah. What the Hina, what's the meaning of this? Oh now Biaka's surprised. He's like, oh shit, I effed up. You lied to us, plain and simple. Yeah. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to section A. Yeah. So you never went to section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved section A. So she shouldn't have anything to do with the poisons. Although that doesn't explain how the bottle with the poison bottle with the protein in it now went on that shelf. Hmm. 
What the? Yeah, Biak is confused now. He's like, what happened then? What the hell? What's going on here? He's like, oh my god, I messed up. I don't know what's going on anymore. And the footprints aren't the only problem with her account. Mm -hmm. Was it Biakia? Before I explain that part, I'd like to submit some new evidence. She went and spied. New evidence? Impossible, there can't be. Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. Oh. I did. Oh my god, Biaki, you son of a bitch, finally. He might be getting his comeuppance. It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. Okay. I'm amazed you of all people would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. It's the, it looks like there's yellow at the bottom of the bottle. Just say it already! What is it you think you found? I found this. Oh. A glass shard at the bottom of the bottle. Huh? A piece of glass. It had sunk to the bottom of the bottle. Okay. And the hidden clue was exposed, thanks to you ingesting the powder. I couldn't have solved the mystery without you. So, thank you for that. Okay. But, what is it? Okay. Oh, you still don't realize? Well then. Okay, here we go. Makoto, why don't you explain Oh shit, it? right. Okay, let's find out. Huh? Me? If you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. That shard of glass was with the pro is it the protein bottle? The shard of light blue glass cube were found in the bottle of poison. I think I remember now. I broke something this same shade of blue with the right room window. I got it. So why did Biakia? Part of the window from the rec room door, right? Yeah, that's correct. The window? Mm-hmm. But Makoto smashed the window, so... The window we broke to get in was light blue, just like that. So I think that must be it. So did Byakuya remove evidence from the scene of the crime? You're right, it must be. Of course, that leads to another question. Mm -hmm. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? It should be on the chem lab floor. What's the thing about that? Well, it would mean that the bottle of poison made its way to the rec room? What's strange is that, according to what Hina told us... There's so much going on in this trial, guys. It's hard to keep up with everything. Where was it the bottle of poison should have been when I broke the rec room? window. The bottle of poison should have been when I broke the right one window. Um, according to what Hina told us, uh, Hina said that the bottle of poison that was now containing protein powder should be on section 8 because she forgot to put it back. Yeah. The bottle of poison was left on the shelf in the chem lab. That is what you said, right, Hina? Uh huh. And yet, somehow a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Aoi was there when we smashed the window. Oh my god, what the hell's going on? Something Hina told us was a lie? Apparently so, I guess. In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. Oh shit. It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked. Okay, so it was there at least until the window got broken. When the locked room was unlocked. Okay. There's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in that box. Right, so the poison bottle was in the rec room. But it wasn't there when the investigation started. Hmm. And then, once the room was opened, 
The bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Well, the first person to leave the crime scene to go to the chem lab was Biakia. Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. Okay. That had to be after the locked room was opened. In other words, after Sakura died. Right, okay. Hold on, you're moving too fast. You bastard. Yeah, it would make sense. He was the first one to leave the, cr the crime scene to go back to the chem lab. And so then the protein cup was planted. Then how would we not have noticed that? I'll grant you the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked. Okay. But how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? Good question. We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? Mm hmm that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Right, okay. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. Right. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it? Or anything like that. All right, so she's confirming whether it was in the room while Sakura was alive. What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? I guess so. Not at all. Just answer to the best of your ability. Well, no, not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Same here. Yeah, me either. Okay then, that settles it. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was open. Oh, come on! How can you say that? Well, that, if no one saw it before, while Sakura was still alive and before the room was locked, then that kind of suggests it was put there afterwards. How can you know what I don't know? The reason she can say that is because there's evidence there's proof that someone brought the protein can to the rec room after it was opened. The glass. The glass underneath the bottle of protein can that was found. Uh... When it comes to that protein can, there's not a doubt in my mind. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was not in there. So you're saying someone planted it there after we got the door open? No. No, that's impossible. It, it had to have been in there the whole time. It had to be. It was in there before the rec room was unlocked. No, it's wrong. You remember how there was broken glass scattered all around the room, right? Yeah. Of course. It came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? Well, those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. Mm -hmm. We also found pieces underneath the can. Yep, that's correct. What? So that would mean it was shattered. So that would mean the protein can was there after the glass was shattered. And this proves it. It shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. Yeah. So it had to be after we got into the room. Oh, I think we know. I... I see. So that's your explanation. Kyoko, earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it... If that were the case... That would explain the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. No one admitted it. And that's made everything clear, hasn't it? As long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched, and as a result, 
the protein can wound up in the rec room, and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. Okay. So, Aoi really was trying to kill Sakura? Is that what I'm getting out of here? No, but this was after. No, it was after the murder. Oh god, right, let's let's find out. If that's all true, then why did Sakura drink the poison? So this is making it sound as if Sakura knew what she was doing. Yeah, she so she drank a poison bottle? I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. Right. But she, this sounds as if she willingly drank a bottle of poison. No, that's not why. The only explanation is she drank it from its original bottle, knowing exactly what it was. So she committed suicide. Which is, if that's the case, that's actually what I was thinking, because... I don't know, it just seemed a bit weird. Like, it doesn't seem likely that any of these guys could pull off killing Sakura. Precisely. She was alone in a locked room. All she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? You're saying she drank it knowing what it was? Such a ridiculous fiction is... Exactly what happened. So that means there is no murderer, if that's the case. Then tell us already! Er, sorry. Please, tell us. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't know what's going on anymore, so you reduce your attitude, mister. Before we get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. Okay. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. Okay. It was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. I think she's lying. What do you think, Makoto? The one who got the poison from the chem lab and brought it into the rec room. It had to have been... I think it was Sakura herself. I got it! I think it was Sakura herself. Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? What are you talking about? There's no way! On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab, right to the section full of poisons. You're lying! Stop lying! We're not, are we? Why? Why would you lie like that? No, it's not a lie. Sakura definitely went to section C. Kyoko already showed me the evidence I need. Now I have to hit Hina with it. I have to make her accept it. Oh, another bullet! God, another bullet time battle! You're a liar! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! Wrong! You're wrong! Sorry, Aoi, it's true. Hina, did you know that Sakura's foot had a certain yellow powder stuck to it? Oh. It did? Yeah. It did. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. 
that powder was yellow, wasn't it? Mm hmm So the powder we found on Sakura. What else could it be but the powder from the chem lab? Wait, wait, wait. So what was that powder doing on Over's foot? Because she stepped in it herself. And it was only on her instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. So the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, but Sakura. So Sakura went to the Section C poisons. Oh. Apparently. And when Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing. When Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing. Okay, so does that mean she took the bottle from Section C, walked over to Section A, and then threw it or something? Which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. Right, okay. But the powder still got scattered around, and some of it must have wound up on her instep. Right, okay. Is there any problem with my thinking? But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? Good question. The only explanation is that she was looking for poison. After all, that's all that section contains. No! It was me! I... the poison! It's a long trial. Ari, why are you covering for her? Because... Because... Because I killed her! No, you didn't. No, you didn't kill her. The one that killed Sakura. The connection between Sakura and the poison, the unsolved mystery of the locked room. There's only one way to explain it. Are you actually kidding me? So, so it is actually true. You can select the dead people. Ah, I think. It has to be Sakura. She killed herself. I don't I haven't understood exactly everything that's been going on, but I think she killed herself. Here's my answer. Yeah. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. What? Yeah. The killer was Sakura? Saying it was suicide? I don't believe it. I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly. Joe believes she can touch the sky. <laughs> I can't believe it either. Or rather, I don't want to believe it. But the evidence is there. But when you really think about it, everything matches up. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself in a room, and she drank it. All so she could end her own life. And that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. Because of course... I got it! The locked room mystery was created by Sakura. I'm sure she locked herself in so nobody could stop her from doing what she did. She sat Ow. there drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. And the empty bottle of poison rolled around the locked room until we came and opened it. At that point, someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. We know who that was. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? Oh? Well, shit, I thought it was Biakia. <laughs> so you didn't... So you wanted to cover up the fact that she killed herself. Why? You did it to throw off the investigation, didn't you? When we found her body, you stayed right there near the door. Ah, that's true. 
Why the hell would you want to mess up the investigation, though? Because if you guys got it wrong, you're all dead. Because you already knew Sakura was dead. Oh, boy. And because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything, and Kyoko was busy checking the body. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were. I have to go get them. Yeah, she was in a state of shock. She should have been, like, crying in tears if that was the first time she'd discovered Sakura. I have to go get the others. She didn't go get the others. She went and put the poison back in the shelf. And shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. You said you were going to go get everyone else. But your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the containers, wasn't it? Once you were at the chem lab, you headed straight to the section where the protein powder was kept. Okay. There, you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of poison you'd grabbed from the rec room. When you left the lab, all you had was the empty protein can. Thinking about it like that, the footprints make perfect sense. So Sakura dropped the bottle, but she dropped it while she was at section A. Oh no, no, so no, so the footprints definitely belong to Aoi. So Sakura only went to section C but dropped the bottle there, but she obviously didn't walk in the powder, just some of the powder got scattered on top of her shoe. Right, I get it now. So the footprints are definitely all Aoi, so she walked straight to A and straight back out. When you were done, you gathered everyone together. And once you were back in the rec room, I got everyone. Wow, uh, ogre. Oh, so she's dead, huh? Sakura's been killed. I see. While everyone else was focused on Sakura, you quietly placed the can on the ground. So you interfered in the investigation, but you weren't responsible for the murder. Hmm. Honestly, I should have noticed. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. Yeah. The Hina I know never would have left her side in a situation like that. It's true. So, Sakura committed suicide. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. Essentially putting everyone's lives at risk. As long as you could disguise the truth, you didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence, and yet... So you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? Because she won. Does this mean Hina wants to die alongside Sakura? Then what? No! No, 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 no! I killed her! I did it! No, you didn't. That's enough, Hina. It's over. It's not! Nothing's over! It is. Actually, no. You're right. Oh, wait, what? We have to end this properly. Oh, yeah, we have to go through the closing argument. Here we go. And you have to go through the case completely to verify it. Please. So, so, Act 1, Sakura places a note under um, Hiro, Toko, and Byakuya's doors. They're nervous. Sakura wants to talk to Hiro, Toko, and one other person, Byakuya.
course he's loving that fact. So Act 2, Toko goes to the room early and she hid. That looks like her coming out of the locker. That looks like she hid inside the locker. Yeah. Okay, so Act 2. So Toko's in the locker, Sakura's in the room. So Sakura's in the room by herself at the moment, but to well, with Toko hiding in the cupboard, but she doesn't know it. So Hero comes in Act 3, gets a candy, gets just freaked out by the way Sakura's acting. I think, think and she thinks Sakura's gonna kill him. So then she, he goes at her with a bottle. Sak the Hina, the hero hit Sakura with. Um, so, so the one he hit her with was the one with the knight. Okay. So Sakura at this point must have already drunk the poison, so she knew she was gonna die anyway. Yeah, so the knight, yeah, that's right. So he sees a book and puts Toko name in the book. He runs off. Toko sees what's happened and seen the message in the book. Uh, Toko uh, So she then uh, came out, saw the book message, and then she put it back upside down. And then Sakura must have came too, but Toko then saw her face with blood, bloodophobia, fainted. Genocide Jill comes along and attacks Sakura with the new bottle, which has the queen piece in it. It was in the Monokuma bottle that Genocide Jack hit Sakura with. It was the queen piece. So Genocide Jill has hit Sakura again. But Sakura's still not dead, obviously. Sweeps up the evidence, runs off. Act 5 Sakura. has got two head wounds. Oh no, she drinks the poison then, so she hadn't drunk the poison yet. Actually, she killed Sakura came from the chem lab. Sakura's holding the bottle of chem lab. Poison. Drinks it. Act six, so. Oh, Aoi! So it's got Aoi highlighted as a suspect. It's gotta be her. Holy crap. So there. So we see a dead Sakura. So Aoi notices the poison bottle. There's something on the phone, Sakura's body, which someone grabbed. MC9 was lifted up. Person leaves, goes, tells us he's gonna get everyone, but doesn't. What was it? What was it that they switched with the bottle of poison and left on the record on the floor? It was uh, that, I guess. I think that's it. Well, it's not. I don't know. This case began when Sakura asked a number of people to meet her in the rec room. Mm -hmm. Specifically, those people were Hiro, Toko, and Hyakuya. Yeah. But one of them headed out a bit earlier than the others, Toko. Mm -hmm. She got there one step ahead of everyone else and looked around for a good hiding spot. Right. I got that wrong? God damn it. Right, okay, so well, that must be her coming out the locker then. Okay, fine. So that means that this one here is wrong. So, so that's her going into the locker. And then that's her coming out of the locker. Here's exactly what happened. 
but one of them headed out a bit earlier than the others. Toka. She got there one step ahead of everyone else and looked around for a good hiding spot. Yep. And she found it. She crawled into the locker to get out of sight. Mm -hmm. So Sakura comes in. Then, from inside the locker, she saw Sakura enter the room. Next to arrive was Hiro. Mm -hmm. When he got there, he mistakenly thought Sakura was going to try to kill him, so he panicked. Are you shitting me? That is the right bottle. What was in the Monaco hole? Oh, right, so it's, there must be one with just the night piece. Oh, right, okay, okay, fine. The killer is you! Without thinking, he grabbed a nearby Monokuma bottle and attacked Sakura with it. Thinking he'd killed her, he hastily began covering up his crime. He took a magazine from the table and forged a dying message from Sakura. To that end, he wrote down a name. Toka. By writing her name, he was hoping to pin the murder on her. Mm -hmm. But of course, Toko had witnessed the whole thing. So as soon as the coast was clear, she jumped out of the locker and hid the magazine on the shelf with all the others. But in her rush, she made one little mistake. She put the magazine back upside down. Soon after, she watched as Sakura slowly opened her eyes. She also saw the blood dripping off Sakura's head and fainted. This caused her personality to switch back over to Genocide Jack. When she woke back up, her second personality also saw the blood soaked Sakura. And she freaked out. And just like Hiro, she grabbed another Monokuma bottle and attacked her. This explains why there were two wounds on Sakura's head. Assuming Sakura really was dead this time, she set about disposing of the evidence. She gathered up the broken Monokuma bottle shards and the clean chest piece. And that explains how Sakura was attacked twice with the same type of weapon. But even after those two blows, she was still alive. So then, what was Sakura's actual cause of death? It was the poison that Sakura herself got from the chem lab. She turned the rec room into a true locked room scenario and then drank the deadly mixture. And there, she took her final breath. Later on, the rest of us discovered that her body was in there. We had to smash the door's window to get inside. But someone already knew what had happened knew that she had committed suicide now that's the point i'm interested in how did she know just because the bottle broke by and that same someone quietly snatched the bottle of poison from off the ground and while nobody was looking replaced it with an empty protein can they did all this specifically to place all the suspicion on themselves. In an attempt to guide the trial to a false conclusion. And the one who went to all that effort. Wow, you know.
That's the full truth of the case. Okay, but then technically she just tried to cover up and make a false trial. I don't think that counts as her becoming black and so I don't think there is a black and student in this case, but we'll see what happens. That's the full truth. I think he hit the nail right on the head, Makoto. Good for you. Sakura took her own life. Yeah. And you claim to be the killer to hide that fact. Isn't that right? Yep. That's what happened. But Makoto, how did you How did you manage to How were you able to uncover the truth? That even I couldn't discern. Because you're not all big, high, and mighty, and super intelligent as you think you are. Huh? Oh, well, I mean, you still haven't realized? We don't all act according to calculations and cost benefit diagrams. That's what makes us so complicated. That's what you don't understand. And that's why you couldn't solve this case. See, didn't I tell you? When you dismiss other people's feelings, it'll always come back to bite you in the end. I always feelings for Sakura. I didn't want her to think she killed or committed suicide. So he couldn't solve it because of Aoi's feelings messing with the trial evidence. So there's no there's no criminal, there's no murderer, so Oh, I got a B for the last section, but I still got an A overall, so I'm happy with that. Mighty medals. Okay, okay. I think we can all agree you made your point. Okay, so how does the trial end now, Mr. Monokuma? Did you guys forget already? You still haven't voted yet. We're gonna vote for a dead person? Oh yeah, that's right. You seriously forgot? <laughs> <sighs> I can feel my energy draining out of me. <laughs> well, whatever. You don't really have a choice anyway. You just gotta do it. Okay. Maybe you don't want to, but please grab your lever and cast your vote. Yeah, but he hasn't made it clear. Do you just vote for a dead person? So, who will be chosen as the Blacken? Guys, fill me in if I'm missing something here, but they're gonna have to vote for Sakura, a dead person. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Uh, I, th I think I'm right, because Monokuma looks really depressed. The, the, op the obvious choice is Sakura, so he doesn't get to kill anyone. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Yeah, he'd be well hyped for this part, but he's not. So it's obviously Sakura, and if they select correctly, then he won't kill anyone. Yeah, Sakura's guilty of killing herself. And it's in grey because she's dead. Yep, so he doesn't get to kill anyone. Okay. Yeah, that's right. The one who killed Sakura was Sakura herself. My entire existence! Yeah, so he's pissed off that he can't execute anyone. Okay, we're done here. What, what did you say? So that's the whole truth, huh? I see. But there's still one thing I don't understand. Come on. Hina, why did you try to cover up what happened? Yeah, it's a good point, because if they had suspected Hina, they would have all been executed. If the truth hadn't come to light, you would have died along with the rest of us. What are you thinking? And yet you... Why did you do that? Don't be mean! Yeah, we almost died there. What is this? Because... That's exactly what I wanted! Oh shit. 
oh i i was like what the hell but now i get it it's because obviously she believes that all of them hating sakura drove her to suicide what i mean the reason sakura died is because all of you pushed her into a corner you you all killed her so that's why you should have been the one to die! I couldn't let her be the only one that died. What? 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 You don't mean... You were going to take us all with you? We have to atone for our sins. Because everyone, even me, we all killed her. We all have to pay for our crimes. What? For serious? That's... You still don't understand? Then let me explain. Do you realize just how much despair Sakura was carrying with her when she died? She, she spy betrayal. She betrayed all her friends by being found out as the spy. Everyone suspected her hate. And, well, particularly Byakuya, Toko, and Hiro were not very nice. I get it. Look at this. Oh. Oh, shit. Such brutality has made me desperate. So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. Oh shit. Th that's... I found it on the ground, in front of the rec room. It's Sakura's suicide note. Suicide note? Thinking back, I should have seen it coming. It was right after Genocide Jack had attacked me. Sakura got mad and stormed out of the nurse's office. I ran out after her and... Um... Sakura, calm down. You don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. I can't calm down. I don't care if I suffer for this. It's my fault, after all. But now you're suffering because of me. Forgiveness. She's saying that because she doesn't forgive herself. I get it. You tried to protect me, but because of me... I can't forgive this! My closest friend got hurt. S Sakura. I... Because of me, my friends are all going to kill each other. This is all my responsibility. Sakura thought she was responsible. She thought everything was her fault. Which is why she wanted to find some way to get everyone to forgive her. So she asked to meet with them. You asked to meet with those three? You can't! Don't you see how dangerous that is? Mm. Don't worry. I just want to talk to them. But... Talk about what? Mm. Um... Listen, don't do it. If they all gang up on you at once, even you... Hina... Please, don't think of things like that. They're not my enemy. They're friends. Oh... I bet Hiro and Toko are feeling like shit right now. S Sakura... <laughs> she clearly believed... She completely believed in all of us. If you just talked to her, you would have understood she was a friend to all of us. And yet... Why? And yet... <laughs> you traveled all over her feelings, and then you did the unthinkable. Uh, um... No, that was just a, a misunderstanding. What are you saying? Don't stand there and call it a misunderstanding. She believed in you, and you wouldn't even listen to what she had to say. Without asking a single question, you tried to kill her. That's true. I won't forgive you. Do you have any idea how desperate she was, seeing you act like that? That's what her suicide note means. 
So instead of just waiting to be killed, I'll do it by my own hand. Why? That's how far you pushed her. Uh -huh. Sakura, what happened to you? Hina. Oh, so so Aoi saw Sakura after she'd been beaten. Oh no, Hina, you came. Wait right there, I'll help you out. Hina. Huh? I... I'm so glad I got to meet you. Wh what's wrong, Sakura? Why are you talking like that? I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Huh? A favor? Some protein. I'd like some protein. Could I ask you to... Y yeah, you got it. Just hang on. I'll be right back. So, Sakura at this point, she either drank the poison already or she was about to drink the poison while Hina was away. Right. That was the last conversation I had with her. I went to the chem lab to get the protein she'd asked for. When I got there, I saw the powder. And that's when I realized. I saw that someone had taken something from the poison shelf. Sakura. So I ran back to the rec room as fast as I could. And it was too late. But by the time I got there, it was already too late. Sakura! Please! Let me in! Please! Open the door! Why? Why? Why did she have to die? She had weaknesses, just like any other person. If she got cut, she bled. If someone hurt her, she felt it. That's weakness. That's normal. And yet... Why? You all blamed her. I tried to protect her, and I suffered for it. And that just added to the weight she had to carry. And I didn't even realize it. Ina. We killed her. All of us. We pushed her into a corner, and we murdered her. People like us shouldn't be allowed to live. And that's why you tried to lead us astray. You did your best to make us arrive at the wrong conclusion during the class trial. Sakura died hating all of us. I wanted to free her of her regrets. But even that got found out. In the end, I wasn't able to do anything for her. Jesus. I could never face her after this. Mm. I'm sorry to interrupt right when you're about to deliver the final tearjerker, but... Hey! It's just taking so long, 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 I'm about to fall asleep over here. <laughs> I mean, do you really think you have any idea what Sakura was actually thinking when she died? What is this? Uh-oh. Monokuma, you're not going to help Aoi here. What did you say? Hmm. Everything you just said is nothing but your interpretation, right? Or is he going to tell us about the hostage? Your own opinion on what her suicide note meant? What are you uh, of course I know what she was thinking. Because her and me... In other words... Well, what I'm really trying to say is... Yes, indeed. Don't you think the entire foundation is shaky? What if it was really... Like this? Monokuma has the last testament and will of Sakura Ogami? The hell? What the heck? What is that? Of course! Isn't it obvious? Yep. A suicide note. Sakura's suicide note. But what? But Hina already. Oh, I wrote that one. It was all me, baby. Oh my god, Monokuma, you dick! You son of a bitch! Oh, that is gonna set Aoi off really badly. It's true! This is the one Sakura addressed to Hina and put in her room. Huh? What? 
then you lied to me. What well, Monokuma did this? Oh, don't say lie. It makes it sound so dirty. I just thought I'd li liven things up a bit. Well now, well now, well now, well now. I can't help it if you totally took my little scribbles at face value. <laughs> it didn't even have Sakura's signature on it. Oh, that's true, yeah. Uh, uh, we've learned in this series. Um, look for signatures of people to see if it's true. You filthy little... I'm not filthy. I didn't do anything. Did I falsify evidence? Did I affect the outcome of the class trial? No, Aoi did. The case played out between you and you alone. You were the ones jerking each other around. Heck, even if the will had factored in, it still would have been between you guys. So, what's the problem? This is all part of the production process. Okay, and scene, cut. And? So then, what did she write in her real suicide note? What are you gonna do? I'm glad you asked. For your benefit, I shall read it using my melodic, angelic, harmonic narrator voice. Okay. Hey! Hey! But you know, haven't you ever been curious about the whole suicide note thing? Oh god. Oh no. Let's not go into that. Who came up with the idea of leaving a note when you kill yourself in the first place? But hold on! And isn't it just so unfortunate? Killing yourself is just so final, you know? This is so messed up. Jeez. You can never hear the rest of their story. The truth is lost in darkness. Gives me the willies. Enough already. Could you get on with it, please? Yes, indeed. Okay, okay, jeez. Talk about a buzzkill. All right, here we go. Hmm. Ahem. Oh. I thought you were narrating it. I guess I have to do it. My good friend Tina, there's something I have to tell you. I hate to do it like this, but you need to know. This is my final wish. As you know, I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. Oh, wow. So this is Sak... I, we never had a look into Sakura's room, so Sakura's got a hold of... Ma I guess in the martial art beating posts which is right in the traditional way it was our first night in this strange school that the mastermind came to see me oh yeah i want to know what's going on you see the mastermind took control of my family's dojo and demanded i become their tool monokuma took over her dojo monokuma's their master dojo oh no oh no you might not see the importance of a dojo, but my family has watched over it for over 300 years. I couldn't let it be destroyed under my watch. So even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. That's how I saw things. However, that was my greatest weakness. And because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the mastermind. And what the Mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. They were probably worried that until the first murder had happened, nothing would move forward. But what neither the Mastermind nor I expected was the incident involving Sayaka. At that point, the plan changed. Oh yeah, because we remember the, the meeting that Monokuma and the spy, who we didn't know of, had. They'd obviously discussed something and they didn't... So they were talking about the Sayaka murder happening before their plan was put into action. Okay. The mastermind told me to hold off, to wait until we reached another stalemate. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, my resolve began to weaken. To protect the resolve to protect our dojo for the friends she'd made. Watching everyone fight with such despair, trying so desperately to stay alive. I saw the weakness in my own heart, the mistake of succumbing to the mastermind. And more than anything, I cannot betray those who would call me their friend. That's how I came to feel. So that's why Sakura... I've made a decision. 
fought Monokuma. I will no longer retreat, no longer compromise, no longer regret. So the hostage they were talking about in the situation is actually her do family's dojo. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. <laughs> of course, because of that, I decided to reveal her secret, which made everyone else hate her. Her decision to stay true to all of you led directly to all of you hating her for it. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Or maybe oxymoronic, or just moronic. Of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. I'm perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to make on me. So this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with just me accepting your hatred. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me. Uh oh, yeah, that's true. This happened. Which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion, disharmony. The Mastermind knew that eventually it would escalate into someone murdering someone else. Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. I have an obligation to get this situation under control. And to fulfill that obligation, I've decided to do as the Mastermind has commanded. I will do as I was told and commit murder. But I've decided the one I'm going to kill is myself. If the Mastermind demands that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Then my dojo will be safe, and above all else, none of you will have to kill anyone. When I die, the source of conflict among you, among you all dies with me. For that, I am willing to give up my life. If it can save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Damn, Sakura. Oh, this is so sad. She's one of my favorite characters as well. I like them all mostly, apart from Byakuya, of course. Um, damn, I feel so bad for her. Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my most treasured friends. Oh, that's gotta hurt. I've never had people like you in my life. Huh? Then, Sakura didn't feel con cornered. She didn't die hating us. No way! She wanted to stop us from fighting, to protect us. It would make sense when she's a martial artist. Correct. She didn't end her own life because she was weak. Quite the opposite, in fact. She was strong. Too strong. That's why she killed herself. She chose death for herself in order to protect the rest of us. To sacrifice so much, no normal person could do that. However... It was only her limitless strength that made it possible. This is gonna break her completely. Finally, Hina, I want to apologize to you especially. The reason I didn't tell you any of this is because I knew you would try to stop me. I'm really, truly sorry, but please don't be sad. If I can thwart the Mastermind's plan, if I can keep you from killing each other, that's enough for me. This is the path that I have chosen. This is the only way I have left to distinguish myself. And you can use this note to bring the class trial to a quick end. But Monokuma got a hold of it, the son of a bitch. I am so sorry to ask you to do something so unpleasant, but I have to leave the rest to you. Please talk to Byakuya, Toko, and Hiro on my behalf. I can't tell anyone about my plan while I'm alive, but I wanted you to understand why I'm doing this. In the end, though, I hope to show myself through actions and not words. Hopefully, when then they'll see. I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend. 
who I wanted to help as much as possible. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else. No matter what, just survive. Damn. But... The, this is... I... I didn't understand how she felt. Not at all. Oh no, and she's gonna feel that bad because she thinks she wasn't a good true friend. Didn't understand her at all. Shit. I thought we were close. And still... What are you gonna do? But in the end, all her meddling was like totally pointless. Uh -oh. She died so you guys wouldn't try to kill each other, but you almost ended up doing it anyway. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Thanks to you, her death had no purpose at all. In fact, it was because of her stupid meddling that the rest of you nearly bit the big one. She deserves all the blame. Everyone blame her. Go ahead. She deserves it. <laughs> now then, the next victim has been decided. What do you mean, next victim? Nobody here blames anyone. Huh? Yeah. First of all, you're in the wrong for tricking Hina with that fake suicide note. And plus, Sakura's death wasn't a waste. Say what? Because she made us remember. We're not enemies that hate each other. We're friends who need to work together. You know? Damn straight. This is all because of our misplaced hatred. Well? I don't blame her. I can't blame her. And nobody can blame Hina either. Ooh. Ooh, uh -huh. Your plans foiled, Monokuma. Whether or not there was a spy never really mattered because the one we need to destroy is you, nobody else. What? what the heck? That's not how this is supposed to go. But anyway, are you sure about that? This killing game is a competition between all of you, remember? Your enemy is each other. He's absolutely right about that. Ah, lovely Biakia. You understand, don't you? This is a life or death elimination match. The only way to survive is to win. There can be no doubt that those are the rules of the game. Hmm. Which is why I am bowing out of the game. What? Uh, dude, I don't think you can do that. Huh? Yeah? Naturally. Sakura and Hina were both willing to sacrifice their own lives to deny the reality of the game. Oh, so he's had enough, has he? Like, the game could be foiled. I'm had enough. I'm not interested anymore. Thanks to them, it would appear the others have cast aside their fear for this game. Ah. Don't make me There's no point in participating in a game which has lost that sense of excitement. Which is I I'll no longer be participating in it. What? What? What's going on here? Hmm. Now I have only one thing to look forward to. And that is to heap the harshest possible punishment onto the one who thinks they can control me. Byakia? Does this mean? Don't misunderstand. I haven't been moved by some thoughtless sentimentalism, if that's what you're thinking. Wherever Master goes, I go. And if the Mastermind turns out to be a guy, maybe I can catch on fire. Uh, everyone? Well, now can you say that Sakura's death had no meaning? <laughs> How boring. But nothing good can come of this. I'm still going to be the one having the fun time. What the heck? The fun... time? <sighs> anyway, let's forget about that good-for-nothing backstabber and get back on track. You want me to punish you guys? It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Punishment time! But you've got no one to punish. <laughs> Wait, but Sakura was technically, technically the killer, right? And she's dead. Yeah, that's correct. You, you're not gonna... But... Is it me? Wrong. Oh, heavens no. Just because the blackened is dead doesn't mean I can just sub in whatever old student I want. You're gonna punish a corpse? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I'm very particular about the bare times one rule. Listen up. But I spend so much time preparing my special punishment, it'd be a shame to let it go to waste. Oh no. 
So, for my special punishment, I've prepared a special guest. Oh no, what? A special guest? What the hell? Where's this going? Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Okay, I have absolutely no idea where this is going now. Koro and Kyoko promised that we would get out with Alter Ego. Y you, oh, you no. suck, man! You turned him into a mangled hunk of junk. You, that really took it out of me. Maybe I'll go grill up a plate of chicken. After all, they say for post-workout grub, chicken's where it's at, and I'm all about the grilled goodness. <laughs> Fried, broiled, give me a break. The color, the smell, the succulence, grilled is where it's at. Yeah, so obviously it was dangerous for him to tap into the network. I've realized how dangerous it could be. But still, I have to do this. But... I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... But still... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So it's okay. If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. Alter Ego's words raced through my heart and soul, and my disbelief gave way to raw anger. The anger turned to fury, black and muddy and boiling over. Uh-oh, don't do it, Makoto. It bubbled up through my body, quickly overflowing and shooting out of my mouth. How dare you! That was my friend! How dare you kill him! What's the matter? Huh? You were friends with a laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with a basketball? Shut the hell up. He wasn't just a laptop. He was my friend. And you killed him. Hmm. Is this what you call animism? I'll need to look that up later. Where a soul dwells within all things? Even, like, laptops? Hmm. Well, you can call it whatever you want. Hmm. Bottom line is, it got in my way. It was trying to find things out all sneaky sneaky. Just as I thought. So, you finally noticed him. Actually... Finally? No, no, no. I knew about it from the very beginning. I knew Chihiro was doing something with the laptop. And I knew you were using it to analyze data. Yeah! I knew exactly how it was all going to play out from the start. What? What are you thinking? You knew? And you were still cocky enough to let us take the plunge? Yep. Well, I mean, the data in that laptop, it was, I guess you could call it a gift, from me to you. Phew. Or maybe more like a reward, in honor of you being able to unlock something so difficult. Damn. Hey, um... So, of course I didn't take care if you got a... a of course I didn't care if you got access to that. <laughs> but sneaking into the network was just too personal, so I had to do a little, you know, reformatting. You son of a bitch. I want to be able to help. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can all get out of here. Alter Ego wanted to fight for us. He wanted to help at the risk of his own life. And for that, he was killed. <laughs> yeah, the punishment time has made me feel a billion times better. Very nice. Experiencing a meaningless death is so soothing, it makes me remember that every low can get even lower. God, you asshole. No, his death wasn't meaningless either. Everybody who's died so far, the deaths of each and every one of our friends, they all make us stronger. I swear to God, somebody, that someday you will pay for this. Holy moly, you're super mad. Like, just unreasonably upset. Well? Okay. Time to bring things to a close. Oh, but before that, uh -huh. I need to read the postscript. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall, Monokuma. What? Postscript? Yep. Yeah, there's still a bit more left of Sakura's no- Oh, shit. Huh? Oh, I always heard enough, I think. <laughs> Do I have your attention? Okay, then. 
Here we go. Prepare your ears for the dulcet tones of yours truly. Oh god, here we go again. One other thing, Hina. There's something I'd like you to tell the others. Hopefully it will act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of this school. What? A clue? Hina. I've spoken with the Mastermind off and on the whole time. I've been here, and so I've learned one thing. Which is... The Mastermind has done something to us. He's messed with your memories of... This is my theory and I'm sticking with it. He's messed with their minds. I think what they've done is... Yeah! Oopsie Daisy! That was a close one! Another word and we would have been hip deep in spoiler territory, you fucker. Too bad. Okay, I don't want to ruin the surprise, so book club is dismissed for today. What? You can't just stop at the most important bit. <laughs> it makes your brain rumble and tumble, huh? It makes you so mad you don't even friggin' know, huh? You guys? That's the whole point, stupid. Is to get back at all of you for hardening your resolve. Fine. But at least... Sakura's no. No, he's not gonna give it to you. Hmm. Like I'd ever let any of you grease balls have it. But, but... Too bad. <laughs> Sucks for you, loser. Hmm? Wait. What's this? What? What is it now? Wah -wah? There's one last line in the note. And let me just say this to the mastermind. I'm not going to just lay down and die. I will fight you, you bastard. No matter what. And that's seriously it. Huh? Wow. What a stubborn loser, huh? She won't lay down and die. She'll fight you. Well, whatever. Who cares what some dead muscle head has to say? Well... Okay, I'm out of here. Hmm. You guys should try to get some rest, you know? And maybe take some time to reconsider how you approach this school life of yours. Are you sure you don't want to graduate? Can you really cut free from the regrets of the outside world? <laughs> Think about that. Think long. Think hard. Jesus. Those were his parting words to us before disappearing. But what was that all about? Sakura's final message. Her last clue to help us solve the mystery of this school. The mastermind did something to us? Well, that's what Kyoko was letting on as well. Something's happened to her body, apparently. Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. What did you do? What did you do to my body? Who? What? Hey. Answer me. What did you do to my body? The Mastermind did something to our bodies. What are they saying the Mastermind did? What did the Mastermind do to us? I mean, did the Mastermind plant a bomb in us or something? Hmm, doubt that. And if we try to leave the school, a sensor goes off? And the bomb explodes? I've seen stuff like that in movies and comics and stuff, so it's not totally unheard of. No. I feel awful just thinking about it. I can't afford to acknowledge thoughts like that. Yo! Jeez, we're still going. I wanted, I wanted to finish off the trial. So, the class trial is over and Monokuma's gone. But... So, now what do we do? Yes. What else is there, other than to head back up? Uh, um... Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. But, but... I... Um... Owie. You know, must feel, still feel responsible. Hmm. Hmm. Dial back that ego a bit, girl. The kind of mystery someone like you could pose is absolutely no threat. Oh, not possible. I would never have lost that kind of challenge. <sighs> what are you talking about? Kyoko and Makoto are the ones that figured everything out. Stop talking. Shut up. He doesn't want to admit he lost. Seriously, I'm sorry. Hmm. 
How many times do you plan to apologize? How about you make that the last one? I haven't reached a point where I need someone apologizing to me more than once. Sorry. Okay. I see what you mean. But then... I'll... Try. Uh, what's going on? Th that totally wasn't normal, right? Did she just c capture his flag? No, 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 no! Oh, uh oh, romance rival. I don't think that's that. That's what genocide Jill is thinking. No, 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 no! I cannot suffer the existence of someone who would disturb the romance between me and Master. I don't think that's her plan. What are you talking about? That's absolutely not what's happening here. Why would I ever go for a sleaze ball like him? Oh no, don't insult him. A sleaze ball? What the heck? That's right. I called you a sleaze ball, because you are sleaze ball. Apparently you still have a death wish. Oh, oh more biting sarcasm. No wonder you don't have any friends. No, 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 no! Hey! Stop fighting with Master! You're making me jealous! I want the abuse give and take me! Oh god. I guess it's not so easy for everyone to act like friends. Well, that's just how it is for now. Holy crap. And so, Sakura's class trial came to an end, and we returned to the world of Hope Speak Academy, where no one was executed apart from Alter Ego. But the story wasn't even close to over. Time kept marching on. We all went back to our rooms, and before long, night snuck up on us. Damn. Holy crap. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Mm-hmm. As such... It is officially night time. Why, thank you for that assessment. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Seriously, get onto them. Night time descended and put me down along with it, down into sleep. I couldn't remember the last time I'd fallen into such a deep sleep. Ooh. But the night still wasn't over for me. Hmm? Huh? A voice. I could hear a voice. What? Oh, what the hell is going on here? But guys, um, I am very sorry to leave it on a cliffhanger after Sakura's class trial, but holy crap, what a trial. So, yeah, I kind of got the kind of feeling or idea that no one killed Sakura. I had a feeling that maybe she killed herself, and it turns out that was the case. I'm going to call this episode right here because it's getting way too long. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series and that you enjoyed this episode, uh, this mega trial episode. Um, if you did, then maybe think about giving this episode a very nice big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, don't forget to smash the subscribe button there on the channel. Um, not with the glass bottles or anything for evidence. No, I'm, I'm just making jokes. Um, but if don't forget to smash the subscribe button, guys, so you'll get... Um, well, various updates from me, but also you get to see all the videos for Danganronpa, as well as all the previous videos I've done. And um, if you also click the notification bell next to the subscribe button, you'll get notifications when new videos go up, as well as posts and updates that I post. And um, also, let me know in the comments what you think down below in this ep for this episode. Um, did you see that trial verdict coming? Um, tell me how you think we did. Uh, anything else you want to talk about the game, or just say hi. Post it in the comments below, guys, but just no spoilers, please. Don't want any spoilers. Um, so, yeah, we'll continue Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc in the next episode, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!